Welcome back, comrades. But I have one question for you today. Do you know the way? The way into Roberts. Pants. Boom! Oh, episode 23, baby! Getting to the end. We're on the final stretch. It's the final countdown. Can't get copyrighted. All right. Because I'm singing so, it. So, with this episode, what we're going to do, comrades, we are literally getting through the entire third day. And if Robert doesn't know the way, we're going to have problems. And with that being said, let's grab your potatoes and let's roll. Yeah, your potatoes. Grab your potatoes and let's roll. <laughs> I haven't spoken to Robert since that night we drove off. His stinking spot. <laughs> You're talking about... Oh, speaking of speaking of sp Fuck. <laughs> 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 Talking is difficult, I swear. Alright. <laughs> Speaking of thinking spot, now that I can formulate sentences again, sponsor for this episode is Moisture Therapy from Avon. See, the reason we've been using the Do You Know the Way meme is because this moisture right here shows you the way in a premium quality where you can sit there and you can find the best sexual experience that you will never want to have again. You see, just one tiny drop, as Alytix is demonstrating here of this moisture, on your cock will keep you masturbating for no less than 13 hours. It it's incredibly impressive. Oh god, this is old. This was awful. You smell like an old man. Regardless of that, we fully support our sponsors. How old is this fucking boy? Why did you put it on in the street? I was showing how good it is. It's what it's for. It's a purpose. It's like when you know the product placement and stuff, and you gotta like show what it does, like drinking a coke. Um, All right, comrades, give us one second. I I can I can smell it, it Derek. Like it smells like old ass Play-Doh. <laughs> I, I, I smell it. Derek, you look like somebody nutted on your face, and it just really enhanced your skin. <laughs> Are you getting ready for your date? Yes. You, do you want me to get you some eyeliner? No. I do you want us to cut off your eyebrows and draw them back on? Because you know that makes sense. <laughs> Welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> All right, comrades, we got the cum stains off I me. Mean, we kind of blended them in a little bit. We got a little blending brush. Got, learned about some uh, female techniques. Moving on. I've been thinking. Oh my god, this still smells like cum. I've been thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking shake you in the throat. Okay, let's get to the third date. Damn. Just go. Yeah, you're right. Let's get to the third date. Robert, fuck me. Just, just fuck. Just, me. just fuck me. Just fuck me. Just Who's fuck getting me. their drink on tonight? Just, just fuck me. Just fuck me. I just am. Fuck me. Just 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 fuck me. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. Just fuck me. 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 Yes, tonight, ride me. Yeah, ride me. Ride me. Yeah, just fuck me. Just fuck me. Yep. Yep. Don't care. You, bitch. Oh, my oh, wait. God. Oh, Music. Blaring from room. Is my emo child still living at home with me? Get rid of her. Wait, wait. Speaking of emo child, she's actually emo right now. Amanda pops her head into the hallway. Music I don't recognize blaring from her room. She's going like all anti She's listening to My Chemical Romance, which is a great band. They were a great band. I think they're like downhill now. Panic of the Disco? Still a great band. Did they have some weird like pop song that just came out? It, it, let's not talk about it. It's become like trendy. Just like, uh, oh, who else? Dad, I'm getting your fucking weed tonight. You know what else became trendy? What was that? Uh, Coldplay? Yes. Coldplay. Moving on. I'm hanging out with your boyfriend later on the night. Super new dad. Fine. Robert, he's originally a friend, but now I'm fucking him. Moving on. I'm happy for you. I love how we're just both clear. <laughs> <laughs> People enjoy my company, Amanda! I'm, I'm happy for you. Bitch, I swear to God, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. What are you listening to? I'm listening to sad shit. Amanda, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm getting pounded. Yes. I can't believe that's an option! I can. That is us! Alytics, that is us! It's like... Motherfucker, not so get scared. Are they around here? It's like fourth wall breaking. Amanda, Lang, say it. Say it. You know what? You're an adult now. I gave it an earnest effort for all 18 years of life. Go forth and swear. Oh, where's the fuck it? What? Fuck you! 
Cheeseman! Okay. We got Cheeseman. Amanda goes back to the room and turns up the volume to her sad shit. That's a band now, sad shit. It's also our channel. It's called Sad Shit. We're just gonna put like a big oh, emoji Jim on. And sad Jim. Shit. Jim and Kim, you idiot. Jim and Jim. Because Kim's is too feminine. I put and did you just assume it's gender? I apologize to all you um, LGBTQ, HK, 28, 24, 36, whatever. We don't apologize. We don't apologize. We don't apologize. We do not apologize. You're right. It's too late to apologize. All right, so we walked over to Jim and Jim. It's too late. I spot Robert oh, glitching, oh. <laughs> glitching through the brick wall, smoking a cigar. As I a closer, cigar. I realize cigar, that guys, looks a different cleaner. Arr, like Captain Hook, like cigar, <laughs> like arr. It actually seems like he combined combed his it, hair. It combed, not combined. He didn't just be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to get this hair follicle and this hair follicle. I'm going to put them together and I have two hair follicles. You know what? You Let's read. do it another 400,000 times. You read. Right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you take a shower just for me? I'm working on my relationship status. We both stand there for a second. Want to touch it to his dick, but we don't. Robert finishes jacking his dick real quick and then he goes inside. I follow that ass. By the time I get inside, Robert's already at the bar, ordering two whiskeys. Not one, but two. One for me, obviously. I spot a booth in the back that's hidden from everybody else so we can be alone. Robert slides his hand to my pants and DMs me. To us. Oh, shit. Actually, I don't know. Should we do to us? Kind of serious. Third date. It's like a serious date now, right? Yeah, to us. Let's do it. Here's to us, and all the property damage and petty larceny that we may commit tonight. Yes! We clink whiskeys. I watch him sip his. Rather than his traditional approach of slamming the whiskey back as quickly as possible, he takes it nice and slow. So what's the plan for tonight? Hit some uh, other bars. Maybe grab some pizza. I think that'll kill some time. Before we go burn down that old abandoned house in the woods, uh, you want to be a woman? It is definitely not as fun as it if it is abandoned. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, who did Mary before? Was I Mary? I think I was Mary. No, I. I, I was, was Mary. Remember, no, I was like super. There's no deep way boys. you were talking three way to yourself. Hold on, comments, intermission, pull tapes. Why? I uh, <laughs> why did you skip the next dialogue? Hold on, comments. I'm out of fucking buttons. Damn it! How did I do this? One? This was like super aggressive. Like, oi there, skipper. <laughs> 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 Whatever, dude. Fucking go ahead. What was my phone call? <clears throat> Alright. Do not disrespect our queen. She knows the way. Where was my phone call? <laughs> <laughs> I've gotta put that meme in like both these videos. Yeah. That way, like, people have an idea of what people do, that yeah. don't know the meme. Sorry you figured out- Fuck. Sorry figured you were busy sinking your teeth into some meat. I am. He's right here. Bitch! You got- Whoa, she got blocking. She trying to sneak a ball up in this? No. This is day I still forget this is day Joseph's day. wife. This is day to this. Day to this. No, on day to this. No cut block. I look at the booth to see a guy sitting across from her. He waves meekly. You replacing me with a new kid? Mary. Yes, I am. Bitch, you guessed it. Mary Lee. Ka! 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 You was right. <laughs> <laughs> She's sneaking in close. She can't take rejection. This guy was sitting. Fuck. This guy. Dang it. This guy she was sitting with looked mildly relieved. She eyes Robert's clean, pressed clothes up and down suspiciously. What are you? Got a court date coming up? I don't know. I kind of want Short and simple. Yeah. <gasps> it's like you know him. You were secretly- He's my dad. You were secretly <laughs> destined. <laughs> 
to be fair, Again, comrade. Joke, a joke. If you guys ain't got an episode before, my dad's name is Robert. Yeah, so no, ironically enough, he's not this guy. I would, <laughs> I would hope, but uh, I hope my father is not a two D gay man. He's not gay. That's very. I don't even know what word I should use about you right now. Prejudice? That's very obese. Very that's <laughs> very, very obese. I don't think that's the f- f- correct word. Keep going. I was thinking prejudice or something. I don't know. Courts offered me impunity if I would testify against him. I'm considering it. Serious, though? What's up with you? Robert stares down at his drink, suddenly looking serious. It's... Pappy. Doctors say it's... A word. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis of the liver. Why do you not know what cirrhosis is? Because I don't have anal beats. I've watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy. I told that old bag of bones to quit it with the sauce, but she kept going in deep. Especially since Ma's gone. That's why I invited you out tonight. Just didn't want to be alone. Oh, come on. Bitch, you got me. Just don't be an asshole. You know that one thing Robert doesn't joke around is his pappy. Whoops. They're giving him two months. I gotta help him straighten out his affairs. Robert. I'm so sorry. I need to deal with this bitch. <laughs> Robert takes a long look at his whiskey and realizes I'm right. I look at his life, and then I look at mine, and I know... History is just doomed to repeat itself. Oh my god, he wants to fuck. I'm just kidding. He's retired with his new girlfriend in Acapulco, or whatever the hell that word is. Acapulco, Acapulco, Acapulco. Yeah. Screwing donkeys. I wait, alright? Rabbits the one school. Wait, what? I wait, aren't rabbits the ones who school a lot? Oh, sorry, you didn't realize you were. Damn it! I can't read drunk! I'm. S- ah! An expert of which intermission. Will screw a lot. Intermission. Please stop saying the word screw. I know the way. <laughs> Finishes his drink, slides away from him, gets up to the booth. Me and Josh are just gonna hit the bricks. You coming with? Merry Casanova, Glass. I said, step. She going to hunt down the rest of her wine. Hey, go. Hey. I narrate. I wouldn't. You've done this in- Hey! I narrate! This place is dead anyways. Hey! My Apple Watch just says I completed my move goals for the day. <laughs> what move? You have moved from like one half of the chair to the other half of the chair. That's about as productive as you've been all day. Continue. Not to mention the amount of calories you consume from the wine completely counterbalances any type of movement. You know what? This is why I like my Apple Watch. It makes me feel good. Yeah, look at all that movement. Look at all that Where? Look at all that movement. If anything, it looks like you had a stroke at some point. (laughs) (laughs) It's probably when we were like beating Uh, something. What's that guy Dice Man? This place is dead anyways. Ah, shit. This place is dead anyways. We exit the bar and find the typically empty street filled with a small crowd of people. At the front is a guy with a really deliberate attitude and a bad posture. He carries a lantern. The green lantern! That he shines up in his face for a dramatic effect. Green lantern! What's going on? Looks like it's one of those ghost tours they do at this part of town all the time. Oh, we're gonna go in a haunted house. That's hot. That's not what I said. Whatever. Yup. Words. Pretty motherfucker! Oh, I'm sorry. I was literally reading it. I was so, like, enthralled in it. I just kept reading it and spamming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I okay. I get the mouse comrades. Okay. I'll just you know you just sit and watch. You apparently had enough movement today. He not like <laughs> the mousey clicks. Yeah, angry. Can. Yeah, you can just be background. Okay. He not like mouse clicks. <laughs> okay, Escuela, you want to calm down? That's <laughs> Rob- a beautiful name. <laughs> Robert makes <laughs> a beeline towards the back of the group. He turns around when he notices that you're still drinking. Come on. We can just crash it, can't we? Mm. Nah, whatever. Don't be a square, just... Just act like... You belong. Robert sidles up to the tour group. I reluctantly fall in the step behind him. Well, here goes nothing. He's going in deep, baby! This is you, you can find some voices now. Okay. Take that as 
you read that? <laughs> it was actually 1692. <laughs> <laughs> what? As the sight was over by the coffee shop down the road. Who are you? Daniel McSturgis, ghost historian. This guy looks like a queef. But why is his like? He's why got... does he have two buttons on his crotch? Well, one. No, 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 no. Why are there two buttons first, on his crotch? First off, if your crotch is that high up your body, you have a weird, weird disproportionate body issue that we need to talk look, about. Look, look, he's time. he's getting sweaty. <laughs> what we need to talk about is why he's got like. It goes up to his stomach like he's from the 70s. Also, wh- got, like, where's the microphone shirt. connected to? To the, the ground, obviously. Duh. You don't know how microphones work? We have one right here. Where's it connected to? The ground. The computer. Which is connected to the ground. No. Yeah. No. And okay. this is my colleague, Dr. Oh, shit. 80s? 70s? Contemporary. What are you thinking? Who wants to be a millionaire? Probably contemporary. Dr. Bonabook, paranormal investigator extraordinaire. We're touring America's most haunted locations as research for our new book. Please, please, please. Damn, didn't do anything. You may have seen our guest cameo on Paranormal House Hunters Extreme Edition. A couple people in the group start nodding. Man, Robert's good at this. You, speak. I, I know the way, but you were not part of the way. Who are you? We like to keep a low profile. Easier to catch ghosts that way. Mm. They've definitely been here. Been standing next to them the whole time. <laughs> Thank you, random lady who I do not know. Mm. As I was saying, the epicenter of paranormal activity can be found at the coffee spoon over there. The man who runs it has been plagued by haunting, because his sales are out of this world. But, even that's more aliens than his ghost, but fuck it. He signed the lease, damn near driven him mad. But whatever you want to say is cool, I guess. It's your tour. Man, didn't know about that Matt. Or about, whatever. Wait, Robert's making this up. The rest of our tour group listens intently to Robert's every word. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, don't care. Thank you for your contribution, but you are not our queen. Let us move on to the next queen. Robert, Mary, and I follow the group down the street. That tour guide's shirt is cool. Yeah, everyone in the group gets one if we make it to the final location. I turn to Robert and grab him by the shoulders. I need that shirt. I feel so gay right now. Well, I guess, uh, that's going to be expected to game about gay love. Just follow my lead. Hey. <laughs> God, this guy is such a queef. <laughs> this guy reminds me of a guy we went to college with named David. <laughs> I will name drop that. <laughs> Who's David? He's a piece of shit motherfucker who is all about like, I'm going to join the... Uh, uh, army? He was going to join some branch, and then he was si- and then he broke his leg playing soccer. And then that Off was a his pothole. excuse. Sorry. Off yeah, a pothole. Off a pothole, yeah. yeah. From a, like, not in like the some field. dude like fucking no, drop no. kicked his ass. No, no, he fell in a fucking pothole, broke he, his leg, and then was like, yeah. oh, I can't do the military no. now. I can't yeah. do it. He like he was like running or something, he said, and he like there was like a divot in the ground, and he just stepped on it. It weird. pissed me off so much because I have so many friends Done. that are doing military service that Done. I respect and love, and then you have this queef biscuit acting like he's so high and mighty because he was halfway in it. Fucking god damn god. it. Thank you for serving. Those who actually served and weren't cunts and got their fucking leg hurt during soccer and made that their excuse. The Clues comrades appreciate you. Oorah. Oorah. We also appreciate the soccer kid to go out there and break your ankles and still get back Shut up. Shut up. We do not support football. It's not football because it's, it's soccer. Football. If you say it's football, then you give him credit. 
<laughs> and America's on wall football. And it ends with a pigskin and bunions. America's the only country in Louis who still calls it soccer. It's hilarious. Even not that Russia, they still call it soccer. Even in Russia, we call it football, and then we call it no, American no. It's football. It's not that we're the only ones that call, still call it soccer. We're the only ones that call it soccer. <laughs> Everybody else still calls it football. Football. Because we're stupid, and we play a game that has nothing to do with your foot except for when you're kicking a field goal. Football. All right, let's go. All right, moving on. <laughs> a quick pause for our tour. My name is Queef. But most people on the tour goes call me Tour Master Queef. I am DJ Trivia. <laughs> to private ghost hunting events, birthday parties, MC bar bar mitzvahs, and perform traditional vandalism mind work. Tour Master Queef gives us headshots. One head job at a time. Hmm. Stage combat experience. Anyway. Let us be on our way, because I know the way. I need to find the commander. It, it is in the attic of this very home that the queen, our last dear queen, Victoria Mistress, Lady Fuckwits Williams, courtship and ghost of sea captain Regal Bailey's, our last commander, were killed. She unfortunately died to the consumption shortly after a century because people have replaced her and now it is our people's tradition to spit on those that are not our queen. <laughs> so keep going, we have to master. say, she was consumed by the devil. No reaction from the crowd. Nobody cares about Toastmaster Queef. Actually, consumption is the popular. Damn it, wrong fucking boys. Actually, <laughs> consumption. You get more pissed off at Dream Daddy than you do a Cuphead. Because Cuphead is my skill. Dream Daddy is my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, consumption is the popular cover-up. Little known fact is that it was a murder suicide. Our queen did not commit murder. Toastmaster Queef. Nobody cares. Sure, sure, Toastmaster Queef. And we definitely didn't hire Stanley Kubrick to elaborately fake the moon landing. That's the watered-down, censored version they teach you in school. But if you can't handle the truth, you can't handle the D. Do not talk about our leader and commander Knuckles. I think everyone much rather hear what this world-renowned ghost historian has to say. Right, everybody? The group member is in agreement. This is a topic we cover extensively in our book. Dr. Batab- Who the fuck is texting you? Would you care to text- Would you care- <laughs> Would you care to text us this story? Pick a damn thing. <laughs> Riff something highbrow. Think of that one. Ah, yes. There is rarely covered in traditional textbooks, Dorothy Pembridge was caught in a fiery rivalry with a fellow local author, Arthur Livingston Price. Author's books were blatant ripoffs of Pembridge's works and consistently sold better. Pembridge was enraged by this and confronted Livingston. Who the fuck cares? Wow. It keeps going. Mm, yep. Our queen has big backstory. Wow. Mm. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. Get in the D, baby. Man, I should bring my wife here. What? What? Did we just get caught by Robert? Ho Hold up. You are not married. And if you are married, this is task failing so fucking hard that there can't be an overrule. But, well, yeah, Continue. Because, because we had a task that can never be accomplished. Literally. Like, literally. Well, there's we said, there's we, no goal to get. Continue. We can't get the D if he's not given the D. Okay. We should have gone with Joseph. He seemed like... He yeah, was he, was a, he was a spirit. No, no, not Joseph. That was that, Byron. That was Byron, Byron the Byron yeah. yeah. Who's Joseph? Joseph's the guy that marries Mary. Oh, Mary, Mary. The weird, Mary, like, Mary. Brady Bunch guy. Yeah, like the... Really with the, soft, the, the soft-spoken dude. With the, like, super... The kids next door kids? The yeah, ones that yeah. Are, like, like the 10,000 kids. The, the evil ones. The ones that have, like, no motion and just, like, look straight yeah, to the Yeah, soul. yeah, yeah. And, yeah. The, like, the ones that you would see at the end of that movie where there's, like, that hallway and there's, like, the two little girls and they're, like, talking and they're scary. Yeah, yeah that, one, like that, okay. that one. 
The Shining? I think, no, maybe. I don't know. I Whatever. think it is the No, The Shining is the one that's like, here's Johnny! Bah! Whatever. Okay, moving on. The entire tour group laughs heartily. I'm kidding, my... Depressing. The crowd gasps. She was killed by a ghost. The crowd gasps again. I don't know where this is going. Either he's lying or... Okay. I'm just messing with you guys. A nervous chuckle ripples through the crowd. He's a great crowd pleaser. Chuckle. 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 Chuck, 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 chuck. chuck. <laughs> grunt, 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 grunt. The, the, pain, the, pain, pain. The tour god seizes that opportunity to announce his pain out loud. Pain, pain, pain. And the group addresses us with some razzle dazzle. Spirit fingers, guys. Spirit fingers. Continue the fucking date! Toastmaster Quinn. Huh. What an interesting story. Hey. Uganda knows better stories of that location. It is extremely terrifying. I love now how shut you, the fuck up and take us to the queen. I want to point out the, the irony in this. You were like the whitest person possible because you were in the farthest tip north of Europe being in Russia. Like, you're so white, you have an entire section called Siberia where it's nothing but white snow. You're, you're that white. And you're trying to voice a guy that's like the depths of darker skin. Where he's got like so much sunlight, he just voices... Beams of pure sunlight through to you. Where are you going? What? I know. Where are you going? Um. Just. Yeah, okay. That is what I thought. Oh my god. Alright, I'm bored. Mary turns to a young guy looking at his phone and taps him on the shoulder. Hey, kid. Fancy the D. The guy looks up at her and smiles. I'm getting laid today. Fuck yeah. Honey, I can show you all the D. I like D's as a demon. Hold on. I could exercise your demons if that's what you're looking. I like this guy. This guy is a smooth talker. Keep going. Don't write your checks for dick can't cash, kid. <laughs> His eyes go wide. Mary salutes me and Robert. She suddenly pulls me into a hug and murmurs into my ear. Fuck him! Hard! For the both of us. Damn it. <gasps> no, wait, wait, wait. Back it up. Here's what she really said. This is a secret plot twist. You're going Super Saiyan tonight. God damn it! I was <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping you were gonna say she was gonna say I know the way. <laughs> no, because no, we're just saying, so we gotta go Super Saiyan uh, tonight. Oh my god! Uh, I forgot that stupid point. It's a joke from the beginning of the first Clueless episode. Clueless comrades ah. make Clueless comrades name their guy just saying. Wonder why they only have two subs. <laughs> <laughs> we saw memes of us. We're we're actually pretty proud of this. Comrades, send us your best memes. Yeah. We'll actually feature them in future videos. And that's not a joke or a troll. Yeah, we actually, like, we actually will feature and, the best and memes And we actually have videos. seen a couple. Like, we're not joking. <laughs> we have scrolled through 9 gags. Occasionally, some have popped up. I don't know which one of you guys is trolling us, but it's still funny as hell. Yeah, so, the appreciation. Exactly. So, we'll do, like, a little skit about it later on. All right. Sure, Mary. Good man. Mary pats me on the back and pulls away. She takes the guy's hand and leads him down the street. And with that, I say we go into the next episode. Because we got to leave you on a cliffhanger. You don't know where we're going with this. Yeah, that sucks. This is... The comrades, I'm sorry. I know we said that we were going to finish out this date. But the thing is, is that this is taking too long. And it looks like the third date is definitely going to be the longest. So you know what? Fuck you guys, because we're doing this for you anyway. So we love you. Remember to stay classy. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Peace. Fucking <laughs>